All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vyond Deza, where two months back there was this 34-year-old Chinese doctor who had warned the world about the possibility of an outbreak of a new virus in his country. The authorities at that time had dismissed him as a fear monger. He'd been accused of spreading rumors. And today, he stands vindicated, but in a very tragic sort of a way. The same infection that he had flagged up in the month of December has now reportedly taken his life. The Li Wenliang's death was reported by the Wuhan Central Hospital a little after 3 a.m. local time in China. But now there is, of course, a controversy that is surrounding his death. The state-backed Chinese media had already reported his death on Thursday, hours before it was confirmed by the hospital. And here's what many experts are saying has happened. Now, the initial report of Li's death had led to a massive reaction in the Chinese social media. People hailed him as a hero and even blamed the Chinese government for having dismissed his claims on the novel coronavirus back in the month of December. And pretty soon, the state-backed media changed its narrative. They then went on to claim that Li Wenliang was actually alive and was being administered treatment. He was reportedly on some kind of life support, is what the Chinese state media claimed. Now, hours later, they eventually went on to confirm his death at about 2.58 a.m. local time in China. Now, all the media agencies then deleted their initial tweets. But this reaction from the World Health Organization pretty much sums up the confusion. Now, WHO's representative Mike Ryan initially expressed his condolences on Li Wenliang's death, but the world body later updated their statement saying that they had no information on Li's condition. Li Wenliang's story is a testimony to how China has tried to hide the health emergency that has now broken out there. In fact, Li Wenliang had written to his fellow doctors about a SARS-like infection, maybe perhaps worse, is what he, what he had said at that time in the month of December and he had urged them to take necessary precautions so as not to contract the disease. Now, what he got in return was condemnation from authorities for being a fearmonger. He was later asked to sign a letter which accused him of making false statements. And then on the 10th of January, Li Wenliang reportedly contracted the disease himself when he was administering some medication to a patient. Now, from his hospital bed, Li Wenliang revealed that the outbreak could have been controlled better had the government been proactive right from the start. 